In today's lesson, we're going to be solving this quadratic equation here, and we're going to use the completing the square method. Now, the quadratic itself is a very simple quadratic, so the process should be fairly easy, but I will go through it nice and slowly. Now, the first step is to always eliminate the constant from the left-hand side. So in this case, I'm talking about this negative 24. And to eliminate that, I need to add 24 to the left-hand side. And to keep the equation balanced, I therefore have to add 24 to the right-hand side. So what I'm left with is x squared plus 2x. Obviously, these 24s here will cancel, and that will be equal to 24. Now, the next step is to always check the coefficient of the x squared term and make sure it's equal to 1. Now, in this case, it is, which means there is a step we can skip. And if you check my other videos, you'll find some whether the coefficient of the x squared term is not equal to 1. So that will show you what to do in that particular case. In this case, it is equal to 1. In other words, there is a 1 there. We don't write it, but it is a 1x squared. OK, what's the next step? Well, the next step is the completing the square step. So in other words, I'm going to have something in here squared is equal to this number here plus a number squared. Now, inside these brackets, obviously, the x squared term will come from an x being squared. And then what we've got to check is the coefficient of the x term. So the coefficient of the x term is plus 2. And that will tell us what is going to go in here. And the way we do that is we say, well, obviously, it's positive. We take the coefficient and we divide it by 2. So 2 over 2, and that's going to be squared. Now, because we're doing that to the left-hand side, we do that to the right-hand side as well. So we take that coefficient, we divide it by 2, and we square it. Let's simplify things here. OK, so what we've got is x plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. So x plus 1 squared is equal to 24 plus 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 1 squared is just 1. So x plus 1 squared is equal to 25. Now, the next thing we need to eliminate is this squared here. And we do that by taking the square root on the left-hand side and the square root on the right-hand side. Now, the thing we need to remember is on this right hand side here, whenever we take a square root of a number like this, we're going to get a positive and a negative answer. Now on the left hand side, the square root and the squared will cancel. So we're just left with x plus 1. And on the right hand side, we've got the square root of 25, which is 5. But just remembering that it's going to be plus and also the minus 5. So plus or minus 5. Now, the last step here is to eliminate this plus 1. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. That will leave me with the x on the left. And then we'll have minus 1 plus or minus 5. Now, we'll see we're going to get two answers from this. We're going to get x equals minus 1 plus 5. And x equals minus 1, minus 5. In this case, x is going to be equal to 4. And in this case, x is going to be equal to negative 6. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button. And remember to click on the little notification bell.